everybody, Anne here, sitting inside the tiny house today, having my coffee because it's kind of cold, a little bit cold, it's about 42 degrees, but it's going to be a beautiful sunny day, so I'm going to take advantage of that, and I am going to go out and cut me up some wood, um, but it's going to be a little bit different this time because I'm looking for trees that I can actually cut down myself with my bow saw. Um, I have to notch it out, you know, so yeah, I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to take you with me. Ooh, look at that. That's new. See that? That is brand new. Didn't come down all the way. I'm wondering if there's a way I can get this to come down the rest of the way. Because I think I would like to cut that up. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge. I'll leave it there for now. But, yeah, that's an awful lot of wood right there. I thought I heard something fall. There's a bunch of little branches that have fallen. But there's a substantial one right there. Um, I don't know where it came from, but I'm going to go take a look at it. That's definitely new. I am going to pull this out and put it in the sun, and I'll eventually break it down. Yep, that'll give me some, some good wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is. I don't know if it's hard or not, but either way, it'll burn. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, <laughs> no, definitely not hardwood. This thing is light as a feather. I still don't know what kind it is, but, um, I don't care. I'm going to pull it up, dry it out, cut it up. Maybe not necessarily in that order. Well, that's sort of in the sun. <laughs> I do have it up off the ground. Kind of got it just propped up here. So it will start drying out until I start cutting it up. Maybe today. Now nah, I don't think it's going to be today. Probably tomorrow. But I won't have to split these. And they'll make some nice... Oh, it's really green, yeah. This is going to have to cure a whole long time before I'm going to be able to burn it. I'm looking around for trees that I might actually be able to cut down on my own. Not the big ones. Definitely not the big ones unless they're dead. But um, some of the ones I want to take down are the ones that are already leaning. Like this one. It's, yeah, it's lost a lot of its limbs. It doesn't even have a top anymore. Um, it's not dead, but I think this one, I'm thinking I might be able to take this down with my bow saw. See, this is how big it is. I don't know what kind of tree that is. Maybe y'all can tell me if my son is watching. Can you tell me? That's what the leaves look like. Can you see them? Let's see if I can get a little bit zoomed in. Hmm, don't know what that is. Here's one right here, right here. Yeah, that's deader than a doornail. It's not very big. It has some stuff coming out, you know, around it. But I think this is where I can start. This one right here. It's not a whole lot of wood, but um, I'll have to take these little things down first. But this is dead, basically. Um, it's still going to be a little bit green because you can tell there's still stuff growing out of it. But yeah, I think this is where I am going to start with the bow saw. You know what, it's pretty wet out here, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm going to go get my gloves, and I'm going to get my bow saw and my Fisker's axe, and I'm going to see what I can get done today. I got the uh, stuff all around it kind of chopped off, used the axe. And so now, um, I think I am going to take the bark off of it because that will just make it easier to make my cuts. i got to make sure I remember where I have to notch it and then where I have to put the little other cut through. So, hmm. It's already leaning kind of this way. I mean, it's not a big tree. I think I'm going to get it to go this way. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get it to go that way. So, well, let me check this out and see how I need to do it. I couldn't get the notch out because <laughs> I didn't saw at the right angle and I just didn't do it right. But I did do the little cut back here and I heard it crack, so I don't know if I can push on this. Yeah, it's going to go. Let me do this with two hands because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want it to fall the wrong way. Well, it fell. <laughs> yeah, it fell. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, well, the reason why I couldn't get the notch out is because I didn't cut the notch right. Oh, look at that. That is terrible. It totally, it, it came out, part of it came out, but then the tree just came apart. So, 
here let's see what the knot yeah look at that the notch is still in there I didn't I didn't cut it right yeah I didn't cut it all the way through but this is an old tree still green but I'm gonna cut it up dry it up I may not be able to burn it this year maybe maybe some of that down towards there but the next step is getting it up by the tiny house and sawing it all up so yeah, I didn't film me doing that just because I wanted to make sure that I didn't impale myself on a log. And I learned a lot from this failure. I mean, it was a success. I got the tree down. Um, oh, it broke. <laughs> it broke in two, so that's going to even make it easier for me. Wonderful. Um, so when I do my next one, I am going to make some adjustments, and I will be able to figure it out how to get this other tree down. And I think the next tree... It's going to be that one that I showed you a little while ago that's kind of leaning like that. That doesn't have a top anymore. And that will give me a whole bunch of wood too. I may end up practicing on some smaller trees first because um, the notch is like the big deal. you got to get that cut just right so it'll fall the right way. Luckily this, this old tree, it just kind of fell just to, you know, despite itself. But um, on the bigger ones, I really, really have to be careful. I need to get... I think what I did is the first one I did straight and the second one I didn't do it angled down enough and um, so that's why the notch didn't come out but it still weakened the tree enough so it fell in the direction I wanted it to so that's a bonus. Anyhow, yeah, next time I will actually film me doing the whole process. Once I'm confident, I know what I'm doing. Remember that tree in the beginning that I showed you that was kind of cracked here and it was all the way up there? Well, I got it down. <laughs> I just made a little cut here and just pushed it, and it didn't come down all the way. I'm lucky that I didn't get impaled by this thing. It's probably pretty stupid. But I don't know if you can see. Let me see if you can see. Um, all the way up there, it is caught by... I can't zoom with these gloves on. It's caught by a little vine, and that's all that's holding it up. I mean, there's a few limbs here and there. So, um, I don't know if I'll tackle this today or not, but I think I could pull it out if I attach a chain or something to it. I don't know. I I'm probably crazy for wanting to do this, but I want this wood. That's a lot of wood. I think I'm going to try and tackle this tree today. It's up there pretty high <laughs> it is leaning kind of two ways so it's actually when it starts out it's leaning kind of this way and then as the tree goes up it starts leaning that way so if I'm gonna make it go that way it has to go in between those two trees but I'm thinking of taking it the way that it's starting to fall and that is basically that way and I've got a lot more space over there I don't know I don't know if it's gonna fall the way I want it to but I am going to start my cutting I'm not gonna go down super far I think I'm gonna just start it right here so huh, I'm scared but wish me luck
call Papa. You guys, I was a little bit scared when I heard it start to crack. And look at that. Look, um, it didn't even come all the way out, which is great because I'm going to be able to saw this into pieces with it kind of resting up on there. I wanted it to go this way, but I soon discovered it was not going to do that. Instead, I laid it down right between these two trees, which is actually probably better. Oh, you guys, look at this. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh, look at all this wood. Look at all this wood. Oh my goodness, this is going to take me forever to cut up. Oh, I can't freaking believe that I did it. I did it, I did it, and I did it all by myself. It could have been, it wasn't the perfect notch, <laughs> but um, it, it was a pretty good one. Just to give you an idea of what the size is. Um, this is how big it is. Look at that. All right, I'm going to start cutting this thing apart. I feel really, really amazing. Just to give you a better idea how big this thing is, it starts there, and it keeps going, and going, and going, and going, and going, all the way over there. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to cut this apart today. I've got some other wood, smaller wood that I can cut apart. Um, I think I'm going to start with the smaller pieces so that when I get to this part, it's going to be easier for me to move around. Um, you guys, I'm just thrilled. And look at this, my first notch. I'm going to save it forever. Even though I didn't do it perfectly right, the tree fell in a good direction. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do something with this. I don't know what, but I'm going to keep this forever. This is the tree that I cut down earlier. Um, it's in two pieces. And these are just ones that I found that were on the ground already. And so this is what I'm going to cut up today. You guys have seen me cut wood so many times. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this before I start on the other one. The big one that I just took down all by myself with my backhoe bow saw. I can't freaking believe it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'll show you that, the big one. Um, in tomorrow's video. Yep, saving this forever. It's my first one. It's not perfect, but it it worked. It worked and that's all that matters. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.